have available. Um, as far as the step up surface, looking for 17 to 20 inches. If it's lower, that's fine. Um, why are you playing it back at me? So about another minute, um, I think that's about all you need. So again, backpack full of weights, books, whatever you can stuff in there if you need to. And if you don't have dumbbells, you can also, you'll be able to use the backpack for the whole thing um, if you would like to. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're we'll going to warm up here. We're gonna go one minute each station. All right, first move, just to step up. So whatever thing you're gonna to use to step up on, we're gonna go for one minute. Three, two, one, go. No weight on this one, just warming up. Alternating feet. I'm not by myself today. Dan and Angie are both here. They're just not willing to be on the screen. Uh, 20 more seconds. Two, one. All right, we're gonna go inchworm plus push up for one minute. So keeping legs straight as you can, hands on the ground, taking small steps, walking out to push up. Down and up, pressing back in. Twenty more seconds. All right, dropping down to the ground. Onto your back, you're going to group bridge leg out. So we're going to bridge hips up, pick one leg up, drop it out to the side just as far as you're comfortable. Back up, back down. Other leg. Try to keep the core engaged. Keep that hip as high as you can. Just over halfway. All right, coming up to standing. 
I'm gonna go outside, inside, outside, stretch, and then two sumo squats. So nice wide stance. Pop arm, reach in kind of up and over. Two bounces, back through legs, two bounces, other arm up and over, two bounces, then come up, push the knees out, just as deep as you're able. And then going back through. All right, now we're going right into windmills. So we want to keep that nice wide stance. One arm up, keep legs straight as you're able. Let the shoulder articulate around. Look up through the hand, come back up. Alternate side. Halfway. All right, next one, twisting squats. So if this is challenging, just go in reverse lunges instead, but we're starting down, crossing, or sorry, just start close-legged. You're gonna twist, squat down, and back up. So again, you're going here, around, down, and back up. If that doesn't work, just go on curtsy lunge, right? We're just working outside of hips here. So that is a fine alternative. If you're able to do it, again, we want to twist, descend, coming back up. All right, just regular old in-step stretch. So coming down, hands inside leg. You can press the knee out when you're here, take the elbow down the foot. Move around, keep that back leg straight, keep it off the ground, put it on the ground. Halfway. All right, last one here, down dog and a pug push up. So pike push up, we're coming down from this pike, from this down dog position essentially, touching forehead in front of the index fingers, pressing back up to scale, just go down dog, come into a plank, back to down dog. Just trying to warm up the shoulders, loosen up the legs, the back of the legs. About 15 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, grab a quick drink. 
Uh, make sure you got a pack or if you got a weight vest. If you don't have a pack or dumbbells or uh, sorry, something you can put on your shoulders, you can always hold a dumbbell or two dumbbells. That's totally fine. Uh, but 200 step ups is gonna take somewhere around six to nine minutes, most likely. So something to keep in mind on today's workout, we're going, um, Do the clock. Yeah. Set the clock up. Thank you. So as we're doing this, we're going a running clock. So we're starting at zero for zero to ten minutes. We're getting two hundred step ups done. If you get to two hundred, once you get to two hundred step ups, you can rest until the ten minute mark. If you have not finished your two hundred step ups at the ten minute mark. Then we're just going right into the next thing. So this, the sooner you get it done, the more rest you get. Um, then from the 10 to the 20 minute mark, we're going four rounds, one arm dumbbell snatch, dumbbell push press, and death march. And I'll go over all these in a second. Then from the same thing. So as soon as you get that done, you rest the remaining time at the 30 minute. We're doing 200 more step ups, or sorry, at the 20 minute, we're doing 200 more step ups. If you get done before, you can rest. And then at the 30 minute, the very last thing, we're doing 50 double press for time, essentially. If you haven't finished in 40 minutes, at the 40 minute mark, then uh, we're done. So, what this looks like you got your step ups starting at the zero, three, two, one, go. Every rep, stand all the way up. Of course, you got your pack or you're holding dumbbells. Step down, alternate feet. Every step is one. So if you do this and you do it unloaded and you get done in like five minutes, um, add another, you know, 25 or a uh, hundred step up. So the idea is that we want to be around that seven to eight minute mark. This kind of workout's a little bit hard to scale, just not knowing what everybody has for equipment or weights because the lighter you are, the faster you're gonna be able to go. Whereas you could do the same thing and be a little heavier and you're gonna be a lot slower. So if you're finishing at like five or six minutes and you would like to do a little more, do another round or just go to like that seven, eight minute mark um, before you take a rest. If you're doing this with RX weights or something close and it's very challenging for you, do the best you can and get as much work done um, during that 10 minute time and kind of grinding through this thing. So first one, 200 step ups and then rest till the 10 minute mark. At the 10 minute mark, you're gonna take your two dumbbells. You're gonna use one of them for the first one. So one arm dumbbell snatch, you're going ground overhead. Pulse in the hands every time. We got 14 reps. Then you're gonna take both of them, bring them up to the shoulder, dip, press, 14. And then death march. You could do this in place if you have, if you can walk a little bit, that's a little bit better. So you're gonna take a step out, front shins vertical to the floor, perpendicular. You reach toward the ankle, stand back up. So 14 steps total. If you need to do it in place, that's fine. I would just stagger stance, do seven on one side, then switch legs and do seven on the other side. So four rounds there, that's from the 10 minute to 20 minute mark, from 20 minute to 30 minute mark, back with your pack or weight vest, going uh, 200 more step ups. And then the last one, double press, 50 reps for time. If you don't finish in 10 minutes, you're done either way. So dumbbells start here, drop down, Burby. When you come up, pull them in like a kettlebell swing and then overhead, there's one. Back to the ground. Two. So the main thing on this devil press is that when I bring them in, I'm not swinging them straight arm around and going up and extending backwards with the low back. So I wanna pull kind of like a dumbbell snatch, keep them kind of close and then press them out at the top, okay? 
So from the side, it looks like this. So at the top, uh, everything's still nice and stacked and I'm not going into this hyperextended position. So keep the core engaged as you go overhead. If, does anybody need any, does anybody, everybody have dumbbells or something they know they can use? Because you could also do the double press with your bag or your vest like Dane's got. If, uh, if you didn't, you could have it here, pop down if you had a backpack, and then the sense to do a ground overhead. So, doesn't look like, it looks like everybody's got what they need. All right. Good times. Looking forward to this. Um, starting with step ups. So again, if you get, if you also, if your step's super short, you're gonna blow through these things pretty quickly. So you might wanna add some. Um, the taller the step, and the heavier your weight, the longer it's gonna take. So if you get it, like I said, like five minutes, just uh, keep going. All right, so the clock's gonna be in the background here. You'll be able to see it. Switch every 10 minutes. All right, 200 step ups starting in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Work, one minute down. So I'm trying to settle in, find a pace.
Yeah, four minutes. I still have halfway to 10 minutes. Yeah, six minutes in. Yeah, seven minutes. Stop, amen, Mark. Good job, way to work. There we go, down and up, knock them out. That's a bad idea. Good job. Way to work. Get to that rest.
I swear, if we got one minute before we're moving on. All right, on this next one, remember it's four rounds. We got 14 reps of each movement. We got one arm dumbbell snatches, alternating every arm. Going both arm dumbbell push press. I have 14 death march. Or if you don't have the room, you can do the seven staggered stance deadlift on one side, switch your feet. Seven staggered stance deadlift on the other side. All right, guys and girls, we got 25 seconds. Remember, we got 10 minutes to get through this four rounds. The sooner you get done, the more rest you get. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. All right, once you got snatches done, both dumbbells, push press. After that, I got death marks. 14 steps. You got it, 14 steps. Start round two. Job coming up on three minutes in. Nice job, nice and steady.
Stop, keep grinding through. I met a mark. Stop, coming up on six minutes in. Uh, seven minute mark. Three more minutes. Two and a half minutes. Finish. Good job. Nice work, get it done. Got a minute 45. Come back to step ups. Ninety seconds. Nice job. Make sure you grab a drink if you need one. All right, we got about 45 seconds. Make sure to get your pack, get your step ready. Here for another 200 step ups. 
30 seconds. Yesterday, I was making dinner. I cut a jalapeno and then forgot about it. And washed like some of my fingers off, but not all of them. And stuck my ring fingers in my eyes with like fresh jalapeno juice on them. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. 200. Didn't feel very good. Yeah, photo. Photo. People. Yeah, find that rhythm up and down. Yeah, two minutes in. Yeah, four minutes in. <laughs> Keep grinding through.
I'm at a mark. Yeah, six minute mark. Keep crushing. Yeah, uh, seven minute mark, three more minutes. Get it done. There we go, two minutes. Ninety seconds left. Shout out everybody. Get through it, get to a little rest. We have 35 seconds, so we're moving on. work. Good job, LG. Nice work. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds, last one here. We got 50 double press. We're working for 10 minutes.
And go. Yeah, one at a time. Yeah, four minute mark coming up. Keep grinding. Try and get a certain number done each minute. I'm in a mark halfway.
Stop, down and up, keep grinding through. Coming up on three minutes left. Get it done. Keep grinding, almost there. Coming up on two minutes. Job, keep working. You got 90 seconds. Um, work too mad. Stop, everybody. There we go, 30 seconds. And time. All right, 10 minutes is up. You're almost done and you like to finish. Get it done. If you'd like to stop at 10 minute mark, you can. Stop, Leanne. Yeah, dang. Uh. 
Uh. Everybody get it? Looks like it. Good job, Doug. Bonnie. All right. So we're going to do a little cool down and then we're done. Good job, everybody. That was a little bit of a rough one. So just a little bit of hip opener work. Make sure you got a little bit of room on the floor. Let's go one minute each one of these things. So let's start at 42. Similar work, same thing we did mostly for last week, Wednesday. So start on that turtler position. You can also, instead of leaving your foot flared, you can tuck it to get more of a quad stretch. I uh, just go roll over. Other side. So you can lean back and stretch there. Or you can flare it out so your ankles on the ground, toes pointing that way, which is a little more internal rotation here at the hip. Thirty more seconds. All right, next one, half her loose. Now we're keeping that foot on the inside. Let you jump forward, both legs go back, use your hands, protect your neck, switch legs, coming up. If any of these don't work for you, do the rolling around part or bug your back at all, you can always just scale to a stretch that does work. Ten more seconds. All right, this next one, shin box roll. So same as that hurler, the first one, except we're bringing this foot in here. And then we just want to kind of lean into this. So again, we're working that internal rotation here. Going over, shin box, other side. <laughs> All right, last one. What well, you guys got? A couple more. I hit my quota. All right, we're just gonna go not for ten seconds, but just ten reps total. So the straddle pass throughs. So we're gonna start in a straddle. If 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 this doesn't work for you, just hang out and straddle. Do straddle sweeps if you can. We're starting here. Legs stay straight. All the way up and over through, legs come fully together, pull them apart as far as you can, and press yourself back into the straddle. There's one, 10 reps.
<laughs> All right, a couple more and we are done on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. I don't know if I was able to finish my story because I couldn't count and talk the same time. Does but it count I if I just hope. watched? <laughs> What's that? I just watched. Does that count? <laughs> yeah, it still counts. <laughs> so, so last night, I yeah, I had fresh hot paint juice in my ring fingers, washed off kind of the rest of my hand but missed that and then put went like this with both hands at the same time and it was uh pretty intense for like three minutes and then slowly got better all right nice work hope everybody was get got something out of it Maybe that's why they keep telling us not to touch our face, Josh. <laughs> it's possible. That's a good way to learn. Thank you. That was gnarly, Josh. <laughs> Super well, gnarly. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, pants were a bad choice today. And I have to remember it's warm. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good rest of your night. <laughs> you too. Thank you, Dane. Thank you, Josh. You're welcome. Uh, See you guys. Bye. Bye.